how's it going everybody? It's Johnny Will Survive here today. And this is probably going to be a pretty long story. You might want to sit back and prepare yourself for that. I guess there's really no better place to start other than from the beginning. I'm sure you all know that we had Angry Dad's car towed out to the garage over six months ago. And you know, honestly, I bet you guys at this point are expecting some kind of update on how the car's going. So when we had Angry Dad's car towed out to my cousin's garage out there to be repaired, I really had high expectations about this whole thing. There we go. It's going. You know, about getting the car fixed up and driving my dad's car around and all this stuff. Because, you know, needless to say, when my dad passed away, the car was in need of some major repairs. And, uh, you know, these guys actually happened to own some small car garage over there on Route 422 in Butler. Well, there it is. And while my dad was in hospice care, uh, these guys had actually came up once to visit him and uh, that's whenever we began the conversation on the car. After talking about it for a while, you know, they explained to me and my mom that, that they could do the repairs, you know, to get the car fixed up and that we should have it towed down there, you know, because they told me that they thought it would be a really nice car for me. And how could I say no to that? You know what I mean? Like, you know, my dad's been trying to get this thing fixed up for how long, you know? And then they tell me that, you know, they can fix it up and I'll be able to drive it around, you know what I mean? I couldn't have just passed something like that up. And I'm sure from all the, you know, repair update videos and, and times I've talked about the car and stuff, I'm sure you could tell that I really had high expectations, you know? I was really looking forward to this thing being fixed up. Between me and my mom, you know, we had more than enough money saved up to, you know, get all the parts ordered, you know, and pay for all the labor to be done, you know? After the first couple of months went by, they really didn't start doing anything. Over that time, me and my mom, you know, we texted them several times, you know, asking them if they were sure that they could complete the work. And they reassured us every time that they could do it. It wasn't until a couple more weeks after that that they actually began doing the uh, first thing. And that was uh, taking out the old gas tank and replacing it with a new one. This is going to fucking blow up when you're <laughs> driving down the fucking road. Why? Because of the holes in the gas tank, leaking gas. One spark, this car is going to fucking blow up like a fucking roadside fucking bomb in Iraq. They also did ask us to pay up front for all the parts and the uh, labor as it was done. Other than just, you know, paying for everything once it was all, you know, the full repair was complete like it would normally be done. And, you know, I we did think that was odd, you know, but... When Johnny first told me he was having Rick's car towed up to the garage, I was pretty excited because I thought, oh my God, after all the times he's been trying to get this car fixed, and it just, that always, something always would come up. So when I first heard the news, I was really excited. I thought, finally, it's going to be repaired, and eventually Johnny will be driving the car. That would really be something to look forward to. The car also needed a new uh, fuel pump sending unit. After that was installed, we would have been able to see if the car was able to start up or not. And if you guys really want to know, we still have it. The fucking shit. We still have it. I know there's been a lot of people wondering what's been going on. They never fucking got that far. We continued to wait for that installation to be complete, and we waited and we waited. From time to time, me and my mom, you know, one of us would send them a text asking for an update or something, because we really had no idea what the fuck was going on. 
they would usually like ignore us for days and it was around that time that I realized that they were just putting it off and wasting our fucking time. I got disappointed when there was no updates because it made me wonder what the heck was wrong. It made me feel bad. I mean really, say whatever you want now, but they were just wasting our time. One day, I finally had a fuck enough and I texted them simply just trying to figure out what the hell was going on with my car. Me and my mom have been nothing but nice and patient with these fucking people. And I told them that I was fed up, you know, because they were just blatantly ignoring our messages at this point. And let's just say they got all offended and found their fucking excuse not to complete the fucking repairs. After all this fucking time, she blew my mom up with all kinds of bullshit messages and shit. Oh, and then we had to pay once again to have it towed back out to my fucking house. They can make up whatever they want, you know. Say whatever makes them feel better about themselves, but when we had this motherfucker towed down there, it could have been repaired. Almost seven months ago. Seven months ago. I just didn't think anything like this would happen. I'm just so sad, I don't know how to feel right now. I was so excited over it to begin with. And they really should not own a business like that. I mean, maybe small, minor collision repair. That's about it. But they definitely cannot handle a big project. Hell no. I hope you enjoyed the money that you got off of me. I'm fucking blown away. That was fucking one step forward and two steps the fuck back. Someday we can try again.